this is an 1800 BMC marine engine. We're just going to look in this video at how to bleed the fuel system. So here's a picture of the engine. Uh, you can hear it just ticking over in the background. Um, the process to probably takes about, I'd say it probably take a couple of hours to do it properly and make sure there's absolutely no air bubbles and it runs like a charm, like this one in fact. This is your fuel filter unit. This has got your first three bleed points for the engine on it. It's got your fuel entry point. It's got your fuel exit to the fuel regulator. And it's got the pressurised re-entry. Those are your first three points. Looking down the engine. You can see we've got the fuel regulating unit. And that we've got three bleed nuts on the top of the housing and on the side of the regulator and also leading to the first fuel injector. If we look on the other side of the engine we have the fuel pump and beneath the fuel pump is a small lever which if you move up and down with your finger you will use it to push the fuel manually around the engine. These are the injectors. There's four of them. These are the four final bleed points. We'll be doing these two at a time. If you, like me, run out of fuel, it's very likely you're going to have to change your fuel filter. It may sound obvious but you're going to want to put some fuel in your tank because um, it adds a bit of pressure and um, when you're pumping the fuel around the last thing you want to be doing is pumping more gunk or mass or anything and um, to make the job easy I guess you want to put, put a bit of fuel in there first. You need to locate the fuel pump on the left hand side of the engine and um, practice giving it a few pumps with your finger. And once you've done this, you can try taking the first bleed point off, which is straight from the fuel um, pump. And if you take it off with a, I think it's a 13 mil spanner, and uh, give it a few pumps, and uh, the first good sign will be that. Uh, fuel should be coming out of here in spurts so that would be your first step locate the fuel pump and then uh, it will be pumping out fuel and if it doesn't do that then you've got quite a major blockage in one of your um, fuel tubes The next step is to go around the um, the bleed points. So you've got the one which I mentioned, and then you've got the second one which is leading to the fuel regulator. Again, um, if you've got a new filter on, this should be coming out in spurts. So even pumping it with your hand manually, it's going to be coming out quite well. Um, so let's assume that that's done, and. Um, the next one you should do uh, really should be on the uh, fuel regulator. Um, 
if you go down to the fuel regulator and look on the top of the casing and uh, you can undo it with an 8mm socket undo that and again a few minutes worth of pumping probably about five um, and it should be coming out with fuel from there just as a note you don't want to undo any of the bleed nuts on the regulator housing so that they fall out all you need to do to them is, is you need to loosen them don't undo any of them Just to finish the job off, um, once the housing um, bleed nut is is dribbling out fuel, um, you'll need to do number five, um, which is on the side of the of the regulator, pointing out um, horizontally. I couldn't. I found that one quite difficult, and. Um, I just use the engine. Um, number four, uh, number number six. Um, use the engine again, and um, next one after that would be um, the the re-entry to the fuel filter again. Use the engine. Um, Fuel injectors, can't even do them manually, I don't think it's even possible to do them manually. Uh, so anywhere from, really from the top nut on the housing onward, you're going to be using the, the engine. And um, Basically, you want him to see the injectors um, sort of dribbling out um, a good amount of diesel um, and once they're kind of they're dropping it down into your sump and flowing it all over your engine then um, it's time to unplug them uh, and then plug in the other two and do the same thing trying to get them flowing with the uh, dirt dribbling down your engine into the sump and once that's done it should be almost wanting to start anyway so it should be um, almost ready to go um, plug him in, do him up, Bob's your uncle <laughs>